Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these wooden ornaments. It shows you right here what the materials that you will need and I will link everything under the description box. But first, let's prepare these wood by painting them first. I actually got these from Dollar Tree and I will have all the information on my blog if you wanted to know more. And I have these free SVG file on my blog at ccdsmith.com. You can go on there and have a look around if you like and with this, just search for the wooden ornament and you will find my blog post along with the free file that you can download for your own cutting machine software. Now that I'm done painting, we're just going to let this dry while we go on design space, which I've already downloaded the file. So let's go to upload, upload, then browse, find a file where you saved it. And mine is usually on my default folder or on my desktop. Once you've found the file, just double click. And it takes you onto the screen. Just name the file. And you can also put tag on them if you'd like. Then click save. Click on the image and just insert. And here you go. I'm just going to drag the image on the top left of the screen for a better view. And then on the right panel, I'm going to ungroup the text. So I can move around and choose which text I'd like to use for this tutorial. And as you can see, I've grouped some of the tags because I got carried away creating and just decided to group them how I wanted them. But feel free on whatever you want to do with these text images. I already know which text I will be using, but right now I'm just arranging and lining these up so I can select the ones that I'm not using. And I'm going to group them and then hide it. Let me grab this and move it up here. Then I'm just going to grab a shape, then unlock it to resize it to 2 inches by 0.5 inches. I'm just using this as a reference because this is the size of the wood that I'm going to use for my stencil. Then up here, I'm just changing the color of the shape for a better view. I'm just going to lock the shape to secure the size. So let me just move this here. And then see how the shape is on top of the text. Just go on the top panel and click arrange and bring that shape on the back. So right here, I'm just double checking to see if the text image fits onto the shape. If I need to make the image smaller or bigger before I click make it. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm just going to hide the shape by clicking on the eye icon right here. Then click on the text image and click attach. Then click make it. This is the previous screen and I'm just going to click continue. Then right here, I'm just going to click on vinyl for my stencil. Then you can choose the pressure to less or more or stay on default. Then prepare your mat and the vinyl. And I'm just going to take this to load it to my machine and just hit start. It is now cutting. And once it's done, just click finish and unload your mat from the machine. I'm just going to trim the excess vinyl. Then I'm going to cut each of the words because I'm going to read these individually only because they are pretty small and they are going as an individual text on each of the wood. I just don't want to risk the vinyl sticking to parts of the vinyl if that made any sense. Then cut a piece of transfer tape and place it onto my stencil vinyl and burnish. Remove the transfer tape, then place the stencil vinyl onto the wood and burnish again. Then remove the transfer tape. Now I'm going to take my red paint and I'm just going to paint it onto the wood. Then place it on the side and just let it dry. Then you just move on to the next wood and just repeat the process. Once it's dry, just remove the stencil vinyl from the wood. And I am using a pair of tweezers to grab these tiny vinyls 
just to ensure that I'm able to get them off of the wood. Then I take my pick to create the hole on the center side of the wood because this is where I will be placing the screw eyes so it'll be easier for me to turn these screws. And if you're struggling turning these screws like me, I use my pliers to help me finish turning them. Then I grab a twine and cut it to the length you want. Insert it into the screw and just make a knot at the end. And then just repeat the process. Now I'm going to place this mini glitter light bulbs. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, but you can use any decorations you prefer. I'm just going to place hot glue onto the wood, then place the bulb. I also tried using a glitter washi tape and I thought they turned out so cute. It's simple, but I love it. And there you go. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment below. And don't forget to grab the free file on my blog. I will link everything under the description box in case you guys need it. You guys have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.